ang uh, alamin. Andito si uh, Attorney uh, Abad. Okay. At uh, tumataginting po yung pangalan ninyo dito sa form na pinagmudmud sa buong bansa. Andito, we hear further, we hereby authorize Attorney Anthony A. Abad et al., to cause the filing of the petition, perform all acts necessary in furtherance thereof. Are you the same attorney Abad whose name appears on these signature sheets for the People's Initiative? Uh, yes, that's correct, Madam Chair. Um, Madam Chair, um, uh, Madam uh, Senator Marcos, uh, Senator De La Rosa, Senator Go, and of course, Senator Risa Ontiveros, um, before anything else, I would like to apologize for my absence in the last hearing um, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to clarify and speak uh, this yes, morning. Yes, matagal kang inantay pero at least nag-email ka naman. Kaya marami po kaming katanungan para sa iyo, unang-una. Mm -hmm. uh, sabi ni Mr. Onyate nung nakaraan, mm -hmm. na bahagi ka ng PIRMA. Are you part of the PIRMA organization? Neither does your name appear in the SEC documents or any other papers that we have uh, retrieved with regard to PIRMA. Do you confirm that you are part of PIRMA? Actually, Madam Chair, I am not a member of PIRMA, but I am assisting uh, as an advisor uh, the, PIRMA, well, the groups that are, that are signing this petition. So you're disputing Mr. Onyate's claim in January 30 that you are part of PIRMA? Uh, I'm not, well, I'm, not, I'm really not part of PIRMA, I'm not organizationally or a member of it. Uh, my role is really as, a, as an advisor on constitutional reform uh, if this, uh, this petition ever prospers. When did you become part or of this operation, if not PIRMA? Uh, okay, my, my, my background, no? um, I am a professor of uh, international economic law at Ateneo, recently retired from the practice of law, um, and uh, I had been a long-time advocate of constitutional reform. So I have been promoting constitutional reform and advocating it since the period of President uh, Fidel Ramos. Um, that's why I... I'd, occasion to work with uh, Carmen, uh, with uh, Tita Chit Pedrosa, and, and... And the rest of the PIRMA incorporators. Yes, but I've never correct? joined them organically, uh, but I have supported and I've always promoted constitutional reform. Or perhaps is PIRMA your client? Are you engaged as a lawyer of PIRMA? No, I'm not. I'm actually doing this uh, on a voluntary basis. Um, ma uh, Madam Chair, I... I I'm just very curious, given your very nebulous and inchoate relation with PIRMA, why is it that yours is a single name that occurs in all these sheets? Well, what happened, uh, Madam Chair? Yes, please proceed. Okay. What happened, Madam Chair, is, you know, I've been a long-time yeah. uh, resource person for both houses. No? Here in the Senate with uh, even with as recent as uh, Senator Padilla's uh, hearings, I, I appeared as well to promote constitutional reform. In the House, I worked closely with uh, con Congressman Rufus Rodriguez. Uh, late last year, Congressman Rufus Rodriguez uh, asked me and invited me to, to assist and to help uh, PIRMA and any, everyone else who is joining this, uh, this People's Initiative uh, for constitutional reform. Uh, as an advisor, but I was supposed Pero, to join... Pero, Abad, sa dinami-dami ng mga pangalan na binanggit mo, uh, at napakarami naman nila, nandyan yung Gana Law Office, nandyan si Attorney Abisado, nariyan si Noel Onyate, di ba? Nandyan po kayo. Mm -hmm. Eh, bakit yung pangalan mo ang pinili nila? Ma'am, I think this eh, is... Eh, ikaw a... pa yung uh, sinasabi mo, walang connection. Mm -hmm. Hindi this ka is... naman bahagi ng firma. Ba't ka, ba't ka bida dito? Ikaw ang starring dito I sa aming know, papel, eh. I've uh, uh, unexpectedly infamous for, for this, but uh, Madam Chair, the, it's actually a curse of my alpha, the alphabetical, uh, my name being, you know, triple A. Uh, there are other petitioners. Um, yes, could you name or uh, mention some of the et al that okay. occur after your name? Sino sino yung et al that you say alphabetically succeed? Yes. Your triple A initials. Well, alphabetically, you'd have Ar Cong former Congressman Argel Kabatbat of Magsasaka. Uh, 
Mga congressista yan, they're all congressmen? Well, former, former congressmen. This, okay. uh, of course, uh, former congressman Garbin. Okay. Um, Ed Goulie of CORE, Constitutional Reform Movement. This was a uh, okay. uh, recent uh, organization uh -oh. or last 20, ano? Sila yung et al? Ito yung mga et al. And of course, uh, Sir Noel Onyate. Uh, and former Justice Veloso, Ching Veloso. Uh, I understand there will be more, but uh, these are the names that, um, that I am familiar with. Pero, as an accident of your name, you're saying you uh, are the single name mentioned in full? Yes, it happened that the signature form came out with only one name, which is mine, and just an et al. Yes, it's uh, just uh, problematic to me because I actually have the transcript of Mr. Onyate's testimony during the last hearing, during which he said, Si Anthony Abad ay kasama namin sa professional sector ng pirma. Ang pirma ay maraming components. Merong farmer, professional, etc. Si Anthony Abad ay isa sa mga volunteer sa aming professional sector. Tama po ba yun? Uh, perhaps Mr. Onyate can can explain. I, I'm not uh, organic or full, like a full-time member of uh, okay. PIRMA, but I am assisting uh, as a lawyer and as an economist. So you know Attorney Garbin, a formal congressman? Yes. And uh, you're also familiar with uh, um, Attorney Garbin's uh, participation in PIRMA, kasama kayo sa PIRMA? Yes and together with uh, other uh, former congressmen and justices, is that correct? Yes, that's correct, ma'am. So you share the advocacy of PIRMA in pushing for the joint voting by the House and the Senate in the event of a constituent assembly? Yes, that's correct. Joint voting and not separate voting? No, because I look at constituent, constituent assembly as a single body. No, it, it, right. It, it, but uh, you will note that your name is also attached, uh, voting jointly at the call of the Senate President or the Speaker, hence uh, in violation of the bicameral uh, nature of our government. Is that something you abide by? My, my opinion, Madam Chair, is that uh, when the heads of the houses call for the Constituent Assembly and it's created- It's an or, sir. We all went to law school, and the ends and ors were very important. It's an or. A single house can actually call yes. for uh, this con ass. Uh, Madam Chair. I, I stand corrected, ma'am. Uh, yes, uh, Senator. I Reza. apologize, Madam Chair, but uh, just uh, to check, I think Attorney Abad has not been placed under oath yet. Oh, that's correct. Uh, Thank that's you, Madam correct. Chair. I've uh, failed to uh, ask the uh, committee secretary to, uh, yes. Can we please require them to uh, take the oath? Yes, Attorney Abad, please take the oath. I forgot. Sorry. And that will uh, be for everyone uh, that we've called upon. Sorry. Uh, to those who, who were not able to take an oath during the, last, uh, during the previous hearings, kindly stand. For the rest who have taken an oath, this is a continuing hearing, so your oath still stands. So those who are new to this hearing, kindly stand and raise your right hand. Kindly repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this proceeding. Thank you very much. You may sit down. Yes, thank you very much. Let's proceed. I am still perplexed, uh, Attorney Abad, because you have here very clearly your name in uh, bold letters um, indicating that uh, you shared the advocacy of a unicameral uh, voting for the Constitutional Assembly. Um, was this something that you were aware of? Uh, yes, ma'am. It, it's, uh, well, from an academic point of view, I, I, I know that uh, the, the 1987 Constitution does have certain vagueness. And we were looking at... Uh, I think it's quite specific. With regard to voting, there's no vagueness at all. Well, we were looking at this uh, People's Initiative as an opportunity to, to, to clarify uh, this matter. 
Okay, so that it was your stand that the Constitution should be changed into a unicameral body, a national assembly, as originally debated long ago. Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, but this it, is this no, but, is the uh, paper but, no, the on which your name is affixed. Yes, ma'am. But no, it's not about. It's the Constituent Assembly is unicameral. The Congress or the Parliament or the the legislature will can be. Bicameral or can With all due unicameral. respect, you put your name to uh, an amendment that states three-fourths vote of all its members voting jointly, mm -mm. okay, and secondly, at the call of the Senate President or the Speaker. So uh, on two counts, it's clearly unicameral. Is uh, that your stand? I'm not going to fault you for it. I just want to make sure that we understand what we're talking about. My stand, ma'am, is that the Constituent Assembly is unicameral not the Congress. I'm not, I'm not advocating a unicameral Congress or assembly. But in the case of a change of the Constitution, a single house can call for the vote. Surely you're invoking the uh, establishment of a unicameral assembly. Yes, it takes on, it's the same people. Hindi naman kailangan yung Senado dito, di ba, maliwanag? Gusto ko lang iklaro kung ano talaga yung pakay ninyo rito kasi nalilito po kami. Kasi ngayon sinasabi mo, pang konas lang yan. Eh, sa ligang batas yan, babaguhin mo yung ordinaryong batas, papaltan nga lang yung pangalan ng kalsada, eh, talagang baikam kami ng baikam. Eh, para dito, para sa konstitusyon, kanya-kanyang kabig, okay na. Madam Chair, I, what, what is of paramount importance to me is the constitutional reform. I, I, can, I can see, and I understand now, I, 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 I can see how divisive and um, how Are you saying you allow them to put your name on this without full knowledge of what you were signing? No, no, ma'am. I, I understood. You understood? Yes. And you understood that, in fact, this was a way to evade, avoid, uh, disenfranchise, abolish, in fact, the Senate. Uh, no, ma'am. In fact, I personally, I don't think that the Senate should be abolished. I think the Senate should, there should be an upper house. Eh, but mo hindi mo, but, but mo pinirman to? Nagtataka no, no. lang ako kasi yung mga abogadong kulit-kulit, hindi ba ang turo natin sa law school, eh, talaga isa-isahin mo yan. Eh, nagtataka nga ngayon, eh, kaya pala ng uh, speaker, mag-isa. Magtatawag siya ng konas. With all due respect. Wala namang alam yung senador. Wala rin yung senate president. Hmm. Pwede niyang patakbuhin. Tama po ba yun? Parang sab nalilito ako sa iyo eh. <laughs> no, ma'am. The Congress is bicameral. The Constituent Assembly, which gathers as a constitutional amendment body, is unicameral. It, it has a different legal identity. So you're saying identity. that the mere law to change a uh, little road somewhere far away requires a constant uh, debate and discussion and finally consensus between the two houses, but a major change in the Constitution can be called by a single house. Wala, nalilito lang ako kasi ikaw ang nakapangalan dito eh, kaya kailangan panindigan mo. Mm. But that's correct, Madam uh, Chair. Um, but you see, it's... it's What's correct po? Na that, pwedeng paltan yung saligang batas, kanya-kanyang kabig, na kung gusto ng mga congressman, kung gusto ng senator, o di paltan nila kahit kailan. No, it's the constitutional, of course, a constitutional assembly, a constituent assembly, as acting as a constitutional amendment body, of course, has to be subject to, uh, subject to uh, scrutiny, uh, and eventually, uh, it, will, it will require plebiscite or referendum, uh, depending on what, what comes out of, uh, of this constituent assembly. Um, it, it is just that I, currently... Uh, with all due respect, since you're a constitutional uh, advocate, parang uh, dapat i-clarify natin. In any case, um, let's put that aside. It's obvious that uh, this form... Uh, attached your name without uh, full information on your part on uh, the implications of this proposition? Would that be an accurate statement? Uh, my work 
should have come in only when the petition, uh, if, if the petition prospered. I was supposed to be an advisor. So, on hindi posture. ninyo alam yung nakasulat dito? Oh, no, no. I, I, I knew, ma'am. I knew what you I was... You knew? Yes. Yes, but right now, you don't know. Sabi mo, hindi kasi sigurado kung ganun talaga. No, no, no. Kasi okay. gusto mo na ngayon, by cam. Eh, no. nakasaad dito, unicameral voting, unicameral call for a con ass. Yeah. Let's please make up our minds. Ma'am, a constituent assembly although they are the same people who are in the Congress, is actually a, le a different legal body for the purpose no, of... No, we fully understand that. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to get to the bottom of this form because it is your name uh, mm -hmm. that appears here. And uh, I assume that you abide by all the statements that are contained in this sheet. Yes, ma'am. Madam Chair, for the record, Yung nga, alam namin yan, we fully understand na a constituent assembly is a separate body. We will be wearing another hat pag mag-form tayo ng constituent assembly. Pero yung nga, yung point ng chairman is that klaruhin mo yung stand mo about voting uh, jointly or separately. Yan lang gusto namin. From your end, yung ba talagang gusto mo na voting jointly, na coming 24 at silang 316, isang count lang ng voto namin? That's correct, sir. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So that's your, uh, yan ang gusto mo. Kaya ikaw ang nag dito na ma-amend itong section uh, 1 ng uh, Article uh, 17 by uh, People's Initiative. So ganon ang gusto mo talaga. Uh, Just for the record. For the record, I wouldn't say... I think, I, uh, just to help things along, uh, there were statements from Pirma, I'm not certain if it was Mr. Onyate, that uh, alleged similarly that since the Senate was a constant roadblock to constitutional change, uh, they wanted to have the two houses joint jointly para malusaw nga yung boto ng Senado. Tama po ba yun? Yun ba yung tamang idea uh, sa likuran nitong papel na to? Okay lang, kasi wala lang sa amin. Total, uh, puro proposal naman to eh. Well, it's not to dilute the Senate's role. It's just that to clarify how you vote within a constituent assembly. That's my understanding. But it's not uh, merely... I-clarify mo to si Amid mo na kagad ang konstitusyon. Yung palang, yung palang uh, no, no. clarification na gusto mo. Oh, because it lacks clarity. We need to clarify. No, That's but uh, I think it's very clear also at the call of only one of the House leaders, uh, there's nothing that says that it has to be bicameral. Okay din sa'yo yun. Na only one House. Yung Congress, kanya-kanyang palit. Congress will change the Constitution on its own. The Senate as well. Is that uh, what you had in mind? Could you repeat that, ma'am? Well, only one of dito. At the call of the Senate President. Yes. Or at the call of the Speaker of the House. So, kanya-kanyang tawag, kanya-kanyang palit ng saligang batas. Bahala na kung anong lumabas. Okay lang pag hindi nagkatugma-tugma yung dalwa. Well, Madam Chair, I, I'm not familiar with uh, the work in, con in how Congress works, but I, I, I would imagine that it would require still some consensus. You have your name here. And you're not clear on what the language was? Uh, no, ma'am. It's, it's clear. Uh, just said it's unclear how Congress works. Uh, so, no, I'm, I'm just saying that I would, I would imagine that when you, when you call, whether you're Senate President or the, the House Speaker, uh, it would still require a, a building of consensus with, within these houses. No? Uh, and, uh, well, I, I don't know if... Uh, we can go to do that later. I yes. think uh, you've certainly not answered all the questions. You've definitely raised my level of confusion. In any case, let's go back to Pirma and uh, revert to that. Do you know Attorney Garbin? Sabi mo kasali siya dun sa mga et al na sana lumabas din kasama mo. Yes. Okay, so you're part of Project PI. That's correct. Because you were helping them. Uh, you said you were in an advisory role. Yes, that's correct. So you also know Attorney Red Tuason? Uh, no, I don't know Attorney Red Tuason. I see. But uh, Mr. Onyate said that he was the prime organizer. Yes, I, I, I'm not, 
I have now no involvement in the signature campaign, ma'am. So I don't know the people who are in the operations part. You have no involvement, but you are the single name on the signature sheet. That's correct, ma'am. As I explained, because of the alphabetical order of the petitioners, my name was included, was put at the top of the list. Mr. Anyate already admitted that he sought the help of Speaker Mualdes, whom he described as the CEO of uh, the Congress. I think that is correct. Did you also meet with Speaker Mualdes? I met him also. Yes, uh, was it to do with the uh, Project PI? Um, I just accompanied uh, Mr. Onyate and Kong Rufus, and uh, well, he just uh, thanked me for participating. No. Uh, could you tell us when this occurred? Uh, in December. I see. Um, uh, Attorney Jokno has uh, reminded us that the people's initiative should derive from the people. Did it not occur to you or uh, to the rest that this had become a politician's initiative and not one that derived from the masses, the people, the citizenry? Uh, no, my understanding, it, because I had been introduced to uh, Mr. Onyate and the other petitioners, that they would be uh, representing uh, people's organizations uh, nationwide. That's my understanding. Okay, did you coordinate with Saldico, another congressman, the chairman of the Appropriations Committee? No, ma'am. He usually accompanies the speaker? No, I, I haven't. I have not had. I, did you I coordinate with any other congressman? No, ma'am. Because Mr. Onyate, um, has repeatedly admitted to coordinating with congressmen given that Pirma did not have the wherewithal, certainly not the organizational scope and reach that uh, the congressman had. Um, did you coordinate with the other congressmen? No, I did not, ma'am, Madam Chair. Do you know the group called Change Philippines that uh, Senator Bato and myself uh, called upon in Davao? Change Philippines? No, ma'am. I'm not familiar. So the signature collection by Change Philippines and other groups was not authorized by you. Clearly, you didn't authorize them. You didn't even know them. Um, only, only Pirma. Only, only those who appeared as the petitioners. No? At the ground level, I did not. Uh, I did not. I was not uh, able to meet with these other organizations. If. If you didn't know them, why were they authorized to collect signatures on your behalf to file a PI petition? Again, ma'am, I, I, I agreed to be a petitioner. My name came out alphabetically in the list of petitioners, and that's why I ended up on the signature sheet. You're a law professor. You know very well that in order for any authorization to be valid, there must be agreement between the person giving the authorization and the person being vested with authority, correct? Correct, Madam Chair. Uh, that being the case, how did you provide authorization for all these groups, such as Change Philippines, that you've never met, uh, have not been uh, informed about, and certainly um, did not authorize to use your name? Um, I, I just agreed to have to be part of that list, um, and and that was my that was my agreement to to be part as as a petitioner, uh, and again, it uh, I ended up being the the top of the list. Your name appears in all those PI sheets, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Do you know who drafted the signature sheets? Uh, Congressman. Garbin. With uh, your full and, and authority, the, is that correct? And the PIRMA group. Uh, we're so unclear now about PIRMA. Perhaps you can give us a personal name. Sino po nag-draft nito? Kasi kayo ang nakalantad dyan eh. If I may answer, Madam Chair, I remember uh, saying during the last hearing that when I discussed the People's Initiative with a group of Attorney Garbin, he coordinated with Attorney Abad and proceeded on their own. So it was Attorney Garbin, but we had to make sure 
that uh, what was contained in the signature sheets would be consistent and the same with the signature sheets of PIRMA. Thank you're you. saying it's not PIRMA and you're speaking as counsel or lead convener? I'm not lead convener, Your Honor. I'm counsel for PIRMA. You're Thank counsel you. for PIRMA. So uh, this was drafted by uh, Attorney Garbin, who was here in the last hearing. And uh, Attorney Abad is in full agreement with what was stated, even if you don't seem entirely clear about the bicameral or unicameral voting procedure. Uh, is that correct? Yes, that's correct, Madam Chair. Who printed them? Madam Chair, as to the printing and the operations, that would be answered by Attorney Red Tuazon. We just made sure in some instances we gave them a, a, a soft copy. And as to the printing, we don't uh, know I anymore. I think your dates are not tallying with all due respect, Attorney Abishado. Uh, naglabasan ito, maaga maaga pa, New Year. Eh, hindi naman niya kilala si Attorney Red Tuason, di ba? Sabi, uh, sabi ni Mr. Onyate, nakilala lang daw niya two weeks ago. Eh, two weeks ago, ang tagal-tagal nang umiikot nitong mga papel na to. That, Kailan ba kayo nagka-introduce-an? That is correct, uh, Madam Chair, because Attorney Red Tuason is part of the group of uh, Attorney Garbin. Sila ho yung nagko-coordinate sa grupo ho nila. Madam Chair, uh, medyo nalilito na ako. So, lumalabas dalawang grupo? De, parang maraming grupo, hindi sila magkakakilala. Kanya -kanya Actually po, uh, like we said, uh, Senator Binay, during the previous hearings, wala hong uh, monopoly ang PIRMA on People's Initiative. Marami oh, din pong grupo ang gumalaw and we will not stop them. Tinignan lang ho namin de, pero sila. Yung, oh, yung tanong, na at yung least. Pare-pareho pare -pare oh, regardless of the group. That's Tama. right. Um, I uh, would like the clarification. O, sabihin na natin na marami kayo at kalat-kalat uh, all over the Philippines. Ang tanong, sino nag-imprenta niyan? Ilan ang inimprenta? Saan inimprenta? Magkano ang pagka-imprenta? Sino nagbayad ng pag-imprenta? O, yung ganun na lang kaklaro. Siguro naman may kaliwa na ganyan. Madam Chair. Yes, uh, uh, Senator Bato. Going back to the last statement of Attorney Anthony Abad, sabi niya, Ang paprinta daw si Congressman Garbin. Di ba? Am, am I correct? Sinabi mo? Hindi. Ah, siya yung nag-draft. Siya nag-draft. Huh? Siya nag-draft. Siya, nag siya nag oh. Sino nag-imprenta? Madam Chair, as to the operations, it will be answered hopefully by the appearance of uh, Attorney Red Tuason during the next hearing. All the questions for sure we are confident will be answered. Uh, despite the fact that he was only hired two weeks ago, he has full knowledge of all the operations of Birma and the PI project. You are correct? referring, you must be referring to the meeting of uh, Attorney Tuazon no, and I'm Mr. Onyate. No, I'm not referring Onyate. to anything. It's Mr. Onyate who's actually said that he only met him two weeks ago. Pero yeah. alam niya ang lahat. Yes, but and maaga na po sila. Pa eh. Yes, Your Honor. Ma maaga na po silang gumalaw ni na Attorney Garbin. Senator Bina, naliwanagan ka ba o mas nalito? Wait, so para lumalabas, si Attorney Tuason, si Attorney Garbin, and si Attorney Abad is well, part of one group. Kailan ho kayo nag-umpisa mag-usap, kayong tatlo? Ni Attorney Abad, Attorney Tuason, and Attorney oh, Garbin. I met them in December, ma'am, uh, Senator Binay. Um, but with regard to nga the the operations or administrative matters, I, I, I did not uh, involve myself because but, I'm... But were you part of the crafting of the... Uh, yes, I had to review also and, and take a look at the, the draft. And saan ho galing yung draft? Yung draft question for the PI? Saan? Oh, sino ho nag-craft nung draft? Uh, si, uh, Congressman, or sorry, Attorney Garbin. Okay. Ma Madam Chair, did we invite Attorney Garbin for, for this hearing? The Attorney Garbin, because apparently... Ah, parang, yes. Uh, Attorney Garbin was invited. He actually attended the first hearing. Because parang lumalabas, siya pala yung nag-craft na itong tanong. Well, he drafted it. Siya rin ba nagpa-imprenta? Kasi ang sabi niya noon, draft, eh, talagang tumulong lang siya at saka nag-distribute. Wala siyang sinasabi kung sino nag-imprenta. 
Hindi daw niya alam. Pagka, pagka alam ko, wala siyang sinasabi doon kasi hindi niya alam. Sino nakakaalam sa pag-imprenta nito? Nalilito ako. Attorney read to us on the operations po. I'm for sure when he appears, he will answer all the questions. Kasama ho sila sa grupo ni na Attorney Garbin po. So, kailan ho kayo, Mr. Inate, kailan niyo ho nakilala si Congressman Garbin? Your Honor, uh, I mentioned during the last hearing when uh, Mr. Onyate engaged our firm to proceed with this project of a people's initiative. I mentioned this also at that time with uh, Attorney Garbin, who also happens to be our client. Wait, so, and he told so us, nga, kailan nga ho yung, ang tinatanong That was ho? December po, December. So, kumbaga parang December lang kayo nagsama-sama. Yes, and they worked fast. Sila po yung nauna. In fact, the signature sheets of Attorney Abad Sila po yung nauna, humabol lang din po yung signature sheets ng firma. Eh, tama po ba yun, Attorney Abad? Nauna yung grupo nyo, tapos sumunod lang si firma? No, no. They were already involved. Uh... Eh, kasasabi lang niya eh. Mag-usap-usap mag ah. na kayong tatlo, Pwede apat dyan. Pwede ba, muna kayo sa dates kayo para... kasi linilito na ninyo kami eh. Ah. Yung signature sheets, nauna, well, nauna ako, yung pangalan ko. Uh, eh, siguro, balikan lang na lang ho natin yung unang pagtatagpo nyo. Uh, di ba? Pang Valentine's Day. Pang Valentine's Day, kasi parang meron kayong love affair dalawa. Uh, kailan ho kayong unang nagkakilala? Sa November. So, November pa. So, hindi uh, December. Hindi December. December, so, nag, ano, we, I met the speaker. And... Uh, and we also we also Silio, met bakit separate bakit bakit si speaker na bigla akala ko hindi siya kasali po oh, bakit si speaker na <laughs> the, the november holy ka sa sarili mong uh, bibiga no, attorney no, about november ka. nagkakilala kayo ni attorney garbin and uh, mr onyate okay and, so nung meeting niyo noong november sino sino Anate. yung mga players sino yung mga na meet niyo si attorney garbin Si Mr. Onyate. Itong si Argel Kabatbat. Argel Kabatbat. Yun yung farmers group. Uh, yes, farmers. Magsasaka. Oh, yung magsasaka. Uh -huh. And? Ex-Kong din. And uh, Ed Gullie of CORE. CORE. Con Constitutional uh -huh. Reform Movement. No? Yep. Sa ilang hong apat? It's the Teka. initial, ano? Initial group. Tapos, nung December... Bakit kasama na si speaker maliban sa apat? If I had met the speaker, uh, we did have a we did have a meeting because they went they went to see him uh -oh. and uh, it was like a sort of a courtesy call and then uh, after that after that we went and met about uh, about the uh, about this signature campaign. Kasi dati sinabi ni Mr. Onyate, hindi naman kasali si speakers. Tsaka na lang, nung nagpapasaklolo na sila kasi mahirap nga umikot at uh, papirmahan yung mga form. It's the time that they went to... Kasama kayo? Summer. Yes. Nung nagtagpo kayo, nandun na yung mga papel? Uh, hindi pa. Uh, not yet. I, I didn't see them. Ay, wala pa nung December. Oh, wala. So wala talaga na tayong alam, bigla na lang, uh, bigla na lang sumulpot yung mga papel. Yung mga form, ganun ba yun? Na, nandun yung pangalan mo, hindi mo in-approve yung draft? in ko yung draft, but I didn't see the printing of the... And, and Madam Chair, wala ba kayong security measures na ginawa dun sa pinapipirmahan nyo na alam nyo, para malaman nyo, na talagang galing sa inyo yung, yung forms na pinapaikot dun sa baba? Wala ko kayong ganun uh, uh, ginawang uh, hakbang parang security yung parang sa like like with money na parang may parang may authentication na uh, form 001 002 tapos may signature yun na uh, I mean to say na parang authentic talaga yung isi, bibigay nyo sa COMELEC eh kasi pwede ako magpa-photocopy ngayon neto na ba at mag-submit sa COMELEC and Sige. paano niyo ma-deny paano ma deny ng grupo niyo na ay yung yung papel na yan hindi sa amin yan or yung pinapaikot na may sinasabing uh, ayuda or ganyan hindi hindi yun yung yung official na forms ng ng grupo niyo. Teka. Ma'am Madam Chair, 
Yes, uh, uh, Senator Bato, please. Kung uh, basihan natin yung mga timeline, no? Uh, I'm slowly uh, getting the impression na parang lumalabas na hindi itong perma ang pumunta sa House leadership para magpatulong sa PI. Para lumalabas, it's the other way around. Yung House leadership ay nagpapatulong dito sa perma para mapapatakbo itong PI. Parang ganun lumalabas dahil na uh, hindi pa kaya organize two, two weeks ago. Uh, hindi pa kumplito yung inyong organization. So, forgive me if I'm wrong. Pero that's my impression developing in my mind. Uh, para bang it's the other way around. Hindi ang perma ang pumunta doon sa house leadership para magpatulong, kundi the other way around. Kasi para bang nauna ang uh, prepared na lahat, printado lahat ito itong mga papel. Kayo, hindi pa nga kayo naka-organize sa mga tao. Tapos, pang, yun na. Perma na, kuha na kagad ang perma. Tapos, saka kayo came, come into the picture. My impression only, ma Madam Chair, based on their statements. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Siguro, Madam Chair, sinong ano nyo, common friend na nag-introduce sa inyo? Si Congressman Rufus Rodriguez. I see. With, si, which is an incumbent Congress. That's correct. Incumbent. He's yeah. the chair of the Committee on of Constitutional, Constitutional Amendments. Constitutional Amendments, that's yeah. correct. So, ano instruction niya, meet up with uh, Mr. Anate to talk about People's Initiative? Uh, he asked me, he said that he, they needed somebody who has been studying or conducting research on constitutional reform, like comparison with other constitutional structures in other countries and how to make uh, the Philippines co globally competitive. So it's, it's basically my, my ongoing thesis or dissertation. And he said that there's a group I'd like you to help. Kailan yun? Uh, this was in November. November. Ito yung November meeting with Attorney mm -hmm. Garbin. Yes, and, and the petitioners. So they, they well, my, the expectation of me was to be a resource person and technical advisor when the whole question of constitutional amendments and constitutional reform comes up. Then I would provide uh, studies on, um, on the best design for constitutions uh, that would make us more globally competitive. So the topic then was not about people's initiative. It was not about the question dito sa form na to. Ay, parang my, my interest your participation madam, was not about this, right? Yeah, madam Senator, it's just that that is my advocacy and I, I would like to see it uh, pushed in a, in a most inclusive way. In other words, I, 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 I'm, I'm realizing that this PI might be problematic the way, the way it's, it's, it's unfolding, but still I would strongly push for constitutional reform and best if it were a multi-sectoral, multi-partisan, and multi-regional approach, now, a consultative effort of the country towards a new constitution or at least just to adjust the constitution so that we could become more globally competitive, to eradicate poverty, and to have more citizen participation. Kaya nga, if I may, Senator Nancy, Kaya nga, kung kayo ang nasa likuran nito, pangkahin ko lang kayo, wrong move lang kayo dito sa ginawa ninyong quiz, itong uh, ginawa ninyong voting. Kinapon, kinapon nyo kagad kami. <laughs> Hindi ito, gusto pala ninyo na multi-regional, multi-sectoral, yung palang gusto mo. Napakaganda lang gusto mo. Pero yung pamamaraan ay mali. Isipin mo na Kumampas ka agad kayo sa isang malaking roadblock ang Senado dahil from the very start, kinapunan ninyo kami. Tinanggalan ninyo kami ng boses. Sipin mo, voting jointly, how can we voice out the 24 of us against 316 of them? So mali yung start ninyo, kaya kayo nagka-problema. Pero kung inayos ninyo yan, uy, ako mismo, ha? Uh, I will support. Nagsasabi na ako noon pa, nag-file ako ng economic cha, -cha reform sa noon, noon pa. Resolution. Ay, ay, we might be, you might be getting the support of the uh, Senate kung uh, hindi ninyo kagad eh, very, from the very start pa lang, uh, iba ng intensyon ninyo eh. Kina, kinakapunan nyo kagad kami. Kaya kami nag-react ng gusto. At nabulabog tuloy yung PI ninyo. Di ba? Personally, Madam Chair, on, on, on my behalf, no, and uh, Senator De La Rosa, I apologize uh, the way things have turned out. 
Um, but my bottom line is really I just want constitutional reform to happen. And if it can be... In think, any which way? Well, <laughs> in fact, it would be great if the Senate, as the sort of the wise men and women of the nation, are the ones taking the lead in really doing a comprehensive review of the Constitution. That would be great. Yes, but uh, we should allow for the people to debate and discuss and be made fully aware of the difference between unicameral and bicameral. I'm not here to defend the Senate, even if I do so, uh, but certainly such a large change cannot be sneaked through this way. Anyway, the, I would but, just but, but, like, but, uh, yes. Hindi naman kami talaga mga wise. Mas wise, mas wise kayo. Dahil nga, kinakapunan nyo kagad kami from the very start. Mas wiser kayo kaysa amin. Mas wise kayo. Thank you.